Hi folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website, link in the description box, Mind Body Spirit Fitness. Put in the healing back in health once again. Don't forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Those links are in the description box below. The podcast is out there as well. All major podcast players, True Results 303. Coming at you today with a video on and I apologize for that background noise. You probably didn't even notice it until now. With I'm doing a load of laundry. I wanted to make this quick video, though. Uh, the most important verse of the Bible that we forget. I think this one sums it up perfectly. And we never truly either read it or, unfortunately, we take too much pride, like I've always heard before, of reading the Bible from cover to cover but it doesn't matter if you read the Bible cover to cover if you don't understand what it is, right? That's why if you want to go into some uh, prayer meditation, you want to do Lecto Divina. And that would be seriously just selecting one story or five verses and just reading them as slow as possible over and over again until you truly get the meaning. Meditating over them, letting God speak to you through those words. Uh, but here we go. So I'm going to come at you with the most important Bible verse that there is. This is the one you need to remember at all times, especially in this world that we're living in right now. It truly, the world we're living in now, the world that we are trying to create right now, you know, I understand why we're trying to create, you know, this utopia and, you know, this happy place. Uh, but I think this is the most important verse we need to understand. Okay. So we're in Acts 5. I'm going to start at 39, but 41 is the verse that I'm going for. But I'm going to read Acts 5, 39 through 42. All right? So here it is. But if it comes to God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against them. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus and dismissed him. So, uh, dismissed them. So that was 40. Here's 41. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of his name, meaning Jesus Christ. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Messiah, Jesus. We understand that? There's 41, like I said. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin rejoicing, happy, happy that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor. Sorry, yeah, dishonor for the sake of his name, right? After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged, right? They had them beaten. And after that, they were rejoicing that they were able to be worthy enough to suffer for God, for Jesus, all right? I think that's the most important thing that we forget. We, we, we have to forget that these are the main things that Jesus told us. You know, we have the Joel Osteens and the whoever else where it's just happy, 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 happy. These men, the 11 apostles, right? Uh, by that time, they might have been 12. They might have, uh, they might have laid hands upon, uh, I made a video about it. I already forgot his name. Um, but they were happy to have suffered for the name of Christ. And after that, they did not stop declaring his name, preaching his teachings. And I think that's, we've got to remember that, especially in the world right now. Here in America, you know, some of these first world countries, we don't understand what's going on in the Middle East and the difficulty that they have over there of just being killed, thrown in jail for being Christian. Here in America, yeah, it's becoming, you know, more, not more, I'm about, to, I'm about to throw out a horrible sentence there. In America, you're definitely starting to be looked down upon for being Christian more and more each day. Uh, but the beauty is we are still allowed to practice how we want to and praise our God. Uh, but once again, that's the most important verse in the Bible. Acts 5, 41. Remember that. Don't be ashamed of it. The world it's not going to like it, but it doesn't matter. So once again, that's the most important one. Do some Lecto Divina on just Acts 5 in general. That's what I would say. Kind of sit there and read that one. 
and truly take in what, what is being uh, talked about in there, you know, what they're describing. Tell you the truth, I, that verse just popped into my head. Now I can't even find it in my Bible. Uh, but once again, there it is. Once again, I really want you to, to read that. That The whole thing is where they're, they're at. This, it's, it's even titled, The Trial Before the Sanhedrin. And this looks like they're just pretty much in trouble for preaching the name of Jesus, right? So once again, it's, we've got to learn that. You know, what did he say? If you deny me, I will deny you before the Father. It's all the same thing, folks. We've got, we've got to understand these things. So once again, I hope you really, you know, take that, read, read through that whole story four, five, six times. For you, you like to do maybe 30 minutes of reading a day. I challenge you just to read that same story for 30 minutes and understand what's truly going on. And I think you'll see that it relates to us more than we can even imagine. So once again, I hope this helps. Don't forget you're here uh, for spiritual stuff, but this is also a channel of fitness, nutrition, motivation. Uh, you know, Who knows what else I throw in there. If I read a book and I find it interesting, I make a video about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Subscribe to this channel. Share and like these videos.